Hi and welcome back. Hopefully you've already watched the exterior video of this beautiful coach stock number 6521 and now we get the opportunity of taking you on a interior video tour of this coach and as we begin this journey inside of the coach I want to stop for a moment and talk to you about the entrance or the renegade boot step. You know I've mentioned before but what a great feature. First thing we've done is we've bedlined the entryway here so if your feet are real muddy you can stomp your boots off right there. You just take your shoes and kick them underneath the stairs there and they're out of the way. Also want to point out with the bed liner material on here you can take a hose and wash it and rinse all the mud and gunk out. It's very robust. Uh, it's going to last for years and years. Where the really luxury aspect starts to come in is notice the LED light strips on each side of the step up on the right and the left side of it so it's a real nice subtle way of illuminating the steps which makes it nice for going in and out. It's hard to show on the video, but the electric step that come out is extremely heavy duty. Many people comment that how nice it is that the stairs don't flex when you climb in and out of this thing. It, Renegade's done a great job at designing these coaches to last for years and years and to hold up to just lots of abuse. You know, whether it's on the racetrack or out in the field, their coaches are designed for people to use them and use them. So enough talk about the stairwell. Here we go, let's go on inside. As we enter the coach, I hope you can see on the video how big it is with that real large slide on the driver's side of the coach. I also want to point out that the interior height of this coach is 7 foot 6 inches, so it just seems very huge inside when you get inside of it. As we begin the tour, we're going to talk a little bit about the Renegade cabinets. And I, you know, every video I talk about how well known Renegade is for their cabinet construction. All of the doors are made from solid maple. They all have dovetailed door construction and they're just exudes quality when you walk around this coach. Here we're going to show you the flex steel dinette on this, how it has lots of storage underneath it. It's, a, it's really designed for comfort. The back of it is real curved. It makes it real nice to sit in. It's, you know, I have the same furniture in my own personal coach. I just can't say enough good about the flex steel furniture. Here we're just going to point out that there's additional overhead storage over the sofa as well as the dinette that we showed a little bit earlier. Also want to point out there's lots of lighting on this coach and the one thing that maybe people forget about this is when we do the upgraded insulation package on these coaches it's not only good for winter but in the summer if any of you have RV'd before a lot of times your cookies and things that are up in your overhead cabinets if the sun's on them maybe they'll melt. When we do the upgraded insulation package like like we did on this coach it keeps the sun from penetrating into the cabinets and so your cookies and things like that and chocolates don't melt inside of the overhead cabinets and it's just something that maybe people overlook when they're building a coach and I think it's just super critical to offer that option. Now as we move down to the flex steel sofa, I want to point out that the name of the color of this fabric that we chose is Ultra Leather Steer Hide and this is a complete custom ordered fabric. This isn't anywhere on the Renegade fabric chart. We went out and sourced this fabric ourselves, and I just really think it accents this coach very, very well. And you're one of a kind, you know, you're not running with the herd when you're uh, running in a coach that we've designed here at IWS. This coach does have three sets of seat belts behind the sofa so you can carry extra passengers. Here we're gonna go ahead and lay out the air bed. And this air bed is very comfortable. And also there's room around the end so if you get up and the kids are sleeping on the sofa bed, there's room to get around them and make coffee in the morning. If you look at the floor plan, you'll really understand what I'm talking about. Here we're gonna show all the different lighting elements in this coach. Renegade does a great job of offering the lighting levels at several different intensities so you can always find the best lighting mood for your mood. Now as we move around towards the rear of the main living quarters, here we're going to show you the hutch that we've put into this coach. And the hutch is great. The, the thought behind the hutch is that if you have kids with you that are going to sleep in the overhead bunk or they're going to stay in the sofa, this would be a great place to put their clothes. 
We also did a solid surface countertop on it. Also notice there's a 110 outlet above it with a USB charger so you can lay your cell phone right there and it's a great place to charge up an iPad. And lights. Notice we had two extra lights installed underneath that. The upper cabinet shelf there on the hutch to help illuminate that. It seems as I get older it's harder and harder for me to see and I put such an emphasis on lights and it really seems to pay off when you go inside of these coaches. Now as we move back towards the entrance area of this coach, this is where the sportsman side of what we were trying to do really showcases itself. Over the top of the doorway there you can see coat hooks. That's a window shade we have pulled down for the video. But imagine if it's raining outside, you can enter this coach right there, take your rain gear off or your coat, and hang it up on that coat rack and then the water's going to drip down onto the stairwell. That's why we bedline the stairwell so it's a really nice place to just get out of your clothes. It's almost like like having a little mud room on your porch. We wrapped everything on the right side in stainless steel. We can customize that to your needs. If you want us to put another coat rack over there, we can. It's real nice if you hang your coats there and they're dirty, you know, they're just gonna gunk up the stainless steel and you can wipe it back off. It's a great place if you wanna mount a gun rack or a fishing pole rack, or if you wanna hang dog leashes. It really gives you a lot of creativity of the way we designed this coach right there on the entryway and I'm extremely proud of it. Now we're gonna open up the cabinets over the top of the entrance door and. We're going to just give you a quick shot of the controller. It kind of shows the quality that Renegade uses when they're wiring things. This is the controller for your outside awning. Now we're going to move around to the controls and the heartbeat of the entire coach. And It's hard to show in the video, but this is to the right hand side of the entry as you walk in. So it's strategically placed to be very accessible and easy to get to. You know, you don't have to climb inside the cab of the coach at night to turn something on and off. You can literally stand right in the stairwell and control it on your way in or your way out. Now I want to talk about the auto gen start feature on these coaches. And there's an awful lot of things you can do with this. You can control the incoming voltage, you can program this to start the generator when the batteries get low. You can tell it to run four or five hours at a time and then shut off for so long. You can tell it to start first thing in the morning. We can tell it to start based on temperature inside of the coach. We can link it to your air conditioners. There's all kinds of features. And I really just want to assure you that, you know, as we're going through these features really quick, don't be alarmed. When you buy a coach from IWS, we're going to give you our Advantage package, walk you step by step through programming each one of the functions. When you buy a coach from us, you get our cell phones and we answer them 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We're going to make this experience really enjoyable for you. You know, we always say we sell luxury coaches for people that want a luxury lifestyle and we back it up with luxury service. Now we're gonna talk about the Renegade Master Control Panel. And what we're gonna do is start here on the left and I'm gonna to touch the LPG button and when you push this button in, the LED lights are gonna give you a status of the current amount of uh, propane that's in the tank. As you can see here, the propane tank is full. Next, we're gonna to touch the gray tank button and this is where your wastewater would be stored from your sink and from your shower. As you can see when I push this button, it shows that the tank is one-third full, so you still have two-thirds of tank remaining to fill up. The next button we're going to push is the black tank, and that's where the water from your septic is stored. And as you can see on this, the LED indicates that it's empty. Then the next one is the fresh water tank. When we push this button, you can see that the tank is full or you have 150 gallons of fresh water available. These are really handy when you're wanting to get a status condition of uh, the holding tanks and the propane levels and the battery conditions of your coach. And as I mentioned with batteries, the last button here when you push the batteries, it'll show your battery conditions. Now we're going to move through the switches on the top. And the very first switch on the left turns on the water pump in the coach. The next switch is for the storage light for the storage compartments underneath the coach. The next switch is for the holding tank heaters, so there's electric heat strips underneath the holding tanks. When you turn this switch on in the winter, it keeps anything from freezing in there. The next switch is for the electric water heater. You can choose to have the water heater either on electric or LP propane. Then as we move down, the first switch you'll see is for the 
main room slide out, in and out. The last switch here is the generator e-start switch. And this is a function that you would use in the event that the generator battery went dead. You could turn the key on on the chassis, push this E button switch down, and that will allow the generator to start off of the truck batteries. Once the generator starts, you let go of the button and the generator switches back to its own batteries. It's a fantastic feature. Now I'm going to take a moment and talk to you about the hydraulic leveling system that we install on all of our Renegade coaches. And an important thing to point out is that we use a two-stage hydraulic system. So the jacks hydraulically push down, and more importantly, they hydraulically lift. A lot of other coaches out there are using springs to return the jack leg. And if you're ever out in muddy conditions or soggy soil, and you push your jack leg and it penetrates the ground, if you don't have a hydraulic system to pull it back out of the ground, a lot of times you're stuck in the ground because the springs can overcome the pressure. We really think this is a fantastic way to go. It's very easy to use. You start out with when you arrive on your location, you turn on the power button, push the auto level button, the jacks come down and automatically level the coach. When it's time to leave or depart from your trip, you turn the power button back on, hit the all retract button, and the jacks all come up automatically. There are quite a few other manual features that we can go through on this uh, to teach you how to further use it if you want. And we offer those on our IWS Advantage package. Now we're gonna do a quick overview of the generator start feature. This is a very simple to use system and it's very reliable. We really like to stick with the Cummins Onan generators. We think it's the best generator on the market. I'm gonna walk you through the start procedure. The generators that we equip on our coaches have glow plugs on them and they have an electric fuel pump. So when you go to start the generator, the light's gonna rapid flash while the glow plugs are preheating in the generator and the fuel pressure is being built. Once the light stops flashing, the generator starts and you just remove your finger from the switch. And that's about all there is to know about this feature. So before we leave the entrance area, I want to talk about the switches on the right hand side here. And as you can see at IWS, we label the switches ourselves. So, you know, we're not leaving your switches up to chance. You don't have to go in there at night and wonder which switch turns what on. We pre-label that before you pick up your coach. And the top switch controls the awning. This white switch is for the fan control for the ceiling fan, which I'm a huge fan of in these coaches. It helps keep the air moving in the summer and the winter. And then the other switches control all the lights in the coach and as well as your outside lights. Everything's conveniently located right here so you can turn the lights on and off as you enter or exit the coach. Now we're going to move around into the kitchen area and you can see the colors I feel really work well on this coach. The stain on this is Italian nutmeg. All the drawers are solid maple with soft closed door features and you can see here in this shot the dovetailing construction of the doors. They're really absolutely a true piece of art when you see the construction of the cabinets on these coaches. They're just beautiful. Here Tyler's reaching an arm in to show you how deep these things are. They're just huge pantries. It's very usable, very accessible, all adjustable shelves. Here we're going to show you the stainless steel sink and it's hard to show on here but that sink is a very deep residential style sink. We used oil rub bronze fixtures on this. Again that was a custom order. That's something that Renegade doesn't offer for 2016 and 17. Also notice on the cabinet that we put 110 outlets on each side of the window so you have an outlet for your coffee pot, an outlet for your toaster and maybe a cell phone. Here you can see the solid surface cover over the top of the three burner gas stove. This is a Samsung residential microwave and convection oven. I've said it before, we liked them so much we installed one at our own home. Now we're gonna move around to the large 13 cubic foot residential refrigerator. This refrigerator runs on electricity and propane. 
it switches back and forth automatic so you don't have to worry if you have a power outage the coach will automatically switch to propane it has little racks in there that fold up to help keep things from sliding as you're driving down the road another great feature of this coach is that it automatically locks the doors when you turn the ignition on and of course you can override that when you're going down the road but it's nice you know i'm pretty forgetful and when i turn the key on it automatically locks the doors so you don't have to worry about them opening as you go down the road there's also an ice maker in the door and a water dispenser it's just a fantastic refrigerator now as we move up into the entertainment center area of this coach, I want to talk to you about a few things. And It's hard to see from the video shot, but we've asked Renegade to plumb air conditioning into this compartment so all the components will stay cool. As you can see here, there's an on-kill home theater system. We've equipped this coach with five in ceilings home theater speakers. Also has a subwoofer mounted down underneath the coach. But the things that we're doing that, that we really want you to know about, because I think, I don't know if anybody else out there is doing this or finds value in it like we do, but we've installed a Wilson WeBoost cell phone booster. And on top of the roof of this thing outside, there's a large antenna. And then it comes in to a booster and then it transmit an upgraded cell phone signal. So as you're in remote parts of the United States or throughout the world, it's going to really help amplify your cell phone signal so that you can have uh, internet access. And it's just the state of the art. It's one of the most advanced cell phone boosters out there. I just think it's absolutely worth its weight in gold. The other thing we've installed on this coach that you can't see is we've also installed what's called the Wi-Fi Ranger Wi-Fi booster and this is this thing has a incredible range on it so if you go into an RV park or an area that offers Wi-Fi it's going to reach out and trump everybody and it's going to grab as much of this Wi-Fi signal as you can possibly get. In fact it's so powerful that when you buy this thing you have to register it actually. I think all of these are going to really help enhance the overall usage and the value and the comfort of owning one of these luxury Renegade coaches. Also notice there's a Blu-ray player and DVD player on top. We're going to program everything to our IWS all-in-one remote so it's not complicated. You literally, when you want to listen to music, you touch the music icon and it sets the stereo up for you. And, and we think it's just a fantastic package that we're offering. Now as we move around to the bunk area, you can see the 42 inch LCD TV come out. It's a smart TV, has a motorized slide on it so you can bring it out in the evenings or you can slide it back out of the way when you're traveling down the road and to allow easy bunk access. Here's a shot of the bunk ladder. We've equipped this coach with two positions for the bunk ladder. One of the things to point out about the bunk is what's really nice about the bunk is even if you don't have guests with you, it gives you a really nice place to store things like sleeping bags or if you're out on the road and you buy a painting or a totem pole, you have a place to store it to bring it home. It's a real nice bonus room, if you will, up there. We've also installed our standard IWS shelf with a 110 outlet and a USB connection. So if you're staying in the bunk, you have a place to put your water and your cell phone. There's the light switch. Now as we move up, we're going to talk a little bit about the hatch and the roof. This is has several purposes, but the main two are for viewing, and it's so nice at night to be able to open up that hatch. If the stars are out shining, you can lay in bed and look up at the stars. If you want to look around and look out in a meadow or watch a sporting event, you can stand on the bunk bed and you know put your body out through that access hole or you can climb up on top of the coach if you want from there. Also a safety feature, it's an emergency access hatch if you want. Now before we go into the cabin, I wanna show you the removable bunk cover that we have. You can choose to leave this in, you can choose to leave it out, you know, if you leave it out, it makes it a little bit easier to climb in and out of the cab. Um, it's just a really nice feature. It is an optional feature, but we've been installing it on every coach. We just feel that strongly that it's the right thing to do. Now as we enter the cabin area of this coach, this is a Freightliner M2 106 chassis. This is our IWS limited edition chassis. This is the last one of these that we were able to order. And I'll try to point out the features of some of the specs. I had mentioned some earlier on the exterior video, but inside there's a lot of things going on with this coach that we ordered. The first thing you'll notice is that we kept the factory floor mats in it. So we ordered this coach with no carpet. So thinking that the person that would buy this 
this would probably be an avid outdoorsman and as you get in the coach with mud on your shoes it'll be real easy to brush it off out of here that's a feature when we order the coach like this it takes from the date we place the order it takes right now about six to seven months with a custom order chassis so this thing's been a long time in the works for us as we move up into the dash area i want to take a moment and talk to you about some of the features that you're going to find in here and the first thing you'll notice is that we're using a kenwood am fm stereo it's bluetooth capable satellite ready so as i walk you through the gauges of this coach you'll notice the first two switches here are for the left and right powered windows then the next switch down below it is the mirror heat switch this coach has heated mirrors that we optioned on it the next switch here is the door locks then the big yellow button is the parking brakes this coach has all full air brakes on it so you don't have to worry if you're parked on a real steep incline you've got plenty of emergency brake here to hold you the next gauge over shows your air pressure then below Below that is the regeneration switch, which probably a little bit too much to talk about on the video. I can explain it in person. Then the next switch over is the option we had installed, which is the air ride. So you can raise and lower the rear air suspension with this switch. Then the next switch over is the high and low setting for the Cummins C brake on this coach. So that's an option we had installed. Many of these coaches just have a single exhaust brake and this one has a two stage. Next switch above is for the docking lights and that illuminates two lights over the side of the coach. Then you have your cigarette lighter and auxiliary 12 volt outlet. Now as we move over to the driver's compartment, I'm going to take a moment and point out some of the other features. As you can see, this is a push button switch panel on this and this is exclusive to the Allison 3000 series and above transmissions. The, the 3000 series is known as the World Automatic and it's six speed automatic. It absolutely, I, I hate to use the term bulletproof or indestructible, but we really feel it's the best transmission that you can possibly buy. In fact, it's the transmission I chose for my own personal coach. This coach also has locking rear differential on it. And as I mentioned on the or exterior video that it's really nice if you're ever in a position where one of the rear wheel spins, you can engage this switch and then an interlocker is gonna lock both rear wheels together to give you traction on both sides. And it's a really nice feature to have. You'll also notice that we moved the backup camera over the top of the driver compartment instead of mounting it into the dash. That's going to be part of our new IWS navigation system that we're working on and it's all iPad driven. We're going to be making some announcements on that in the coming weeks. This coach also has an air horn over it. You can see the cable there to, to the left side of the door and then it also has a standard horn in the steering wheel. Well, it seems like we just breezed right through the interior of this cab, but if you come in person or want to give me a call, we'd be glad to spend more time and talk to you through all the features and really dissect the specifications. There's so many things when you look at the three or 400 line items of specifications that you get from Freightliner to be able to talk about. Hopefully we've done our job of kind of conveying some of the features of this chassis. Now we're gonna move into the bathroom area. And with this coach having a mid bath with the dual pocket doors on it, the space is incredible. It's just something you almost have to come in person to experience. By not having the toilet private from the shower, it's really opened up the whole coach. So if you can imagine the bathroom is the full width of the coach. Here we're gonna show you the vanity and you know I just keep talking about it over and over, but the quality of the workmanship of the wood and the craftsmanship in this coach is just second to none. And as we pan around the vanity here, you can really look and see how well the joints fit up. One of the things we started doing here at IWS is installing a little waste basket underneath the counter of the sink in the vanity. So, you, you know, instead of having a trash can floating around on the floor, it's right there on the vanity. This coach we've equipped with our, you know, we really are big fans of the macerator toilet. It grinds up and emulsifies all the product. You have a number one flush and a number two flush, so it's a water saver. The other nice thing about this is if you push both buttons at the same time, it drains all the water out of the toilet. So when you're driving down the road, water's not sloshing in the bowl. Now, as we move over to the linen closet, you can see it's from floor to ceiling. And as I mentioned earlier, it's seven foot, six inch tall ceiling. When you move into this corner shower, it's just spectacular. The size is overwhelming. You know, many of the ladies that come see this just marvel that here's a coach that finally has a seat in it where you could sit down in it. I just can't say enough about the shower of this coach. 
Now we're gonna enter the rear bedroom. And we really put a lot of thought into making this bedroom a, a really feature point of the coach. As you can see, we've had overhead cabinets installed over the top of the bed, so you have extra storage. There's a really nice full-size window there over the bed. It's also, we've got the blinds closed on it because it's really sunny outside, but when you open up that blind, that window serves also as an emergency exit. We've used Turner cream on the padded walls, so the walls are very elegant, and by doing the padded walls and the spray foam insulation, this coach has incredible sound deadening qualities on it. So we did everything we could. If you're parked next to a diesel truck idling, hopefully you're not gonna hear them. The other thing we've done is installed different lighting elements in this coach. So you have his and hers reading lights on it. We've got wall sconces. Here we're gonna kind of show you through the lighting levels of it. Also wanna point out that each side of the bed has his and hers nightstands and there's little storage compartments under it. Each of the nightstands also have 110 outlets. So you have a place to run your cell phone chargers or a CPAP machine. Um, you have a great place to store a wallet, a purse, or your or a pistol or anything like that. I just think it's something that really adds to the long-term enjoyment of your coach. Now we're gonna move over to the wardrobe closet on this coach and as you can see, Renegade, some of the neat construction features is that they stain all the way behind their cabinets and you can also see behind the TV, if you kind of look up and to the left, you'll see that the TV isn't just hanging there with wires, they've actually cased the whole television in from the backside and it's just little things like that that just really set the Renegade quality apart from any other coach builder out there. Also notice that there's lights inside of there, so when you open up your cabinet doors, the lights illuminate in for the closet area. Here's a shot of the lower storage area on this, and here's where you would install your direct TV or Dish Network receiver, and this is a shot of the Blu-ray and DVD player. This coach is also equipped with a, a ceiling fan on the roof. It really helps in the bedroom to keep the air circulating through it. It's just a breathtaking coach. I hope in closing that we've done a good job of showing you all of the features of this coach. And as always, I thank you so much for spending your time with us and I hope to see you soon. Thanks again.